like this right here at the car show, sitting on all the stands, and the other parts of the top car jacked up over. Yeah, but you ain't gonna be able to drive it out and move it on and off. Put it back on the touch. <laughs> take it back off. The but then they gonna say your shit don't run. They gonna be another conversation. They gonna be like, oh man, he couldn't afford to put the car together before yeah. he came. You know, I'm going with the rose gold joint. The joint's over, over here. What's up, you guys, man? It's your boy, Real to Real, man. Back in here with another video. Hey, man, say, man, hey, man. It's your boy, man, Real to Real. Y'all already know what it is, man. Um, today, we about to head up here to Allstate Transmissions. About to go get a quote and everything, man, for Badonka Donk. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Big 75 Caprice. You know what I'm saying? Not the little one, the big one. You know what I'm saying? Big 75 Caprice. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we're about to head over here to Matt, and I'm about to get the price and everything on the, um, for the frame notch or whatever. For the frame notch on the colors. Because y'all know we got to get that thing going. He said he can get it in next week. And so I'm definitely excited about that. But then I'll be able to move around real good in it. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And my dog, Superman, on that, going to be in town. So y'all probably see him on this video today, too. Well, ain't no problem. Y'all Liz going to see him on this video. And I need to go by Omar's and give me another cap. Because they messed up that cap Plus I scratched up that same wheel That the cap is messed up on So just a double whammy all at once You know what I'm saying I would put that damn dummy on And tell them to just Hey man take my stuff and fix it But I might just let my guy uh, Do that since he real fast at it My guy um, um, Had big boys I might just let him do it you know what I'm saying? It might be a quicker process for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, once he get done with the Hellcat. Because I ain't going to lie, man. I do not like a scratched up wheel. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I can I can probably use a DA, DA gun and um, sand it down a little bit and just paint it myself. You know what I'm saying? I can really do that. And it'll be all good. You know, but... I just gotta see, cause I mean, black wheel is a black wheel. You know what I'm saying? I, anybody can paint that. I can have my guy toast to paint that <laughs> real fast. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely gotta, um, definitely gonna get that fixed soon. Cause I can't be riding around with no dang on scratch curb rash on my dang on wheel. It just ain't what it is. I ain't gonna lie to you. It ain't what's up. Hold on, golly. Put this cord in here. Hold on, y'all. All right, bro. I see you in your scat, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Act like he was doing something coming past me. Nigga, this a whole hope, my boy. No, I don't need no music right now. None whatsoever. But like I said, yeah, we headed down here. I done picked up my clothes and everything from the dry cleaners. Man, I just been having so much, so many errands to do and to run. Um, I still got one more errand to run. I mean, one more errand that I need to knock out before, um, before, well, by next week. At least next week, by next week. I need to knock that out, man. Um, so I won't um, revoke my bond or whatever. Then I gotta figure out a way. I gotta um, try to get.
get my my felony expunged or whatever. So I gotta go probably to Arkansas and uh, see how much they gonna hit me for to expunge my felonies. You know what I'm saying? So I can get my rights and shit back. So definitely gotta uh, try to do that, man. Definitely gotta try to do that. So. Um, I just, like I say, man, it's just a whole lot of stuff behind closed doors that you guys don't really understand or 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 know uh, what I'm going through, and it's just you know it's a headache. You know what I'm saying? It's like a burden on my shoulder, and it just won't leave. But like I said, we ain't finna bring in the new year like that. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This new camera heavy as hell. That must be having my arm sore. I can't even count to you. This joint's so dang on heavy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we ain't complaining about it. You know what I'm saying? The camera is just, it's really doing its job. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm definitely not going to complain about it. You know what I'm saying? But, <clears throat> like I said, we're going to head over here to, to Matt at Allstate Transmission. And, uh, yeah, we on our grind, man. Like I told y'all, man, 2024, man, we back on the grind. And uh, we ain't finna let, that, let up or slow down. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Do you feel me? All right, man, I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute, man. Peace. Got mad out here. Going on, going on, man. How you, sir? Chilling, chilling. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy yes, New sir. Year, man. I see my guy over there. Yeah. Oh, the track out? He just pulled up. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Man, I just did a boo-boo on it yesterday. My head wasn't there. I had a uh my one of my uh closest friends passed, man. I scraped a curve. Got a curve, man. I'm sick behind that. You know I don't like a, a curved wheel. Look at that. You better get that Sharpie out, man. Pretend like it's 1995. I know, but I need a DA gun so I can get it down a little bit to where it'll look a little decent. And I got to go back to Omar and them. They broke one of my caps and put the handprints behind it. <laughs> now it won't come out. <laughs> it's on the inside, so I'm going to go down there once I leave here. Right on. But, yeah, I probably just have somebody to tape it up and just repaint them. I don't got to repowder coat black. <laughs> no, I mean, you could tape up. You, know, you can back tape this lip right here. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody was telling me if I smoothed it down, I get some of that lineless tape and just spray it with that lineless tape and it won't That's leave a hard line. Kind of, yeah, you don't just put it. You, you roll the tape. Mm -hmm. like, give it a soft edge. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. smoke it in a little bit. It ain't too bad to do that. Yeah, because I was like, man, I'm not finna tear no wheel apart. Especially not a black wheel. Right. Now, if it were color, oh, I gotta get that fixed ASAP. <laughs> yeah, I mean, black wheel is about the easiest thing if you do have a problem to deal with, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Dust it in, touch it up, you know? Not that type of school. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it ain't too bad. As long as I get that center cap fixed, I'll be cool. <laughs> it's behind it, so the hand print is behind it, like they had some on their hand. And because it don't rub off on the front, right, right, it's behind it. But I just bought another one from them the other week, so they're gonna have to replace that one. Since I bought that one, oh, uh, they gotta replace that one. So, because yeah. another shop had broke my front one, but I I took the hit. They hard as hell to get off and on. Man, yeah. So that's really what it was. So the other shop they had broke it. And then I just paid for it. I was like, I was just, I had a blowout. So I was like, I ain't even going to put it on y'all. I'm just glad y'all can get it off. Right, right. You know? So. On the side of the road. Yeah. I'll deal with it. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So I ended up paying for it myself. I was, and he told me to bring the receipt. He'll pay for it. He'll reimburse me. But I was like, nah. Because it was a blessing. We got that cap off. Because I hate big cap wheels. That's a good look. But it is a pain in the ass. You got to mess with them, man. Yeah. You would think they would have. You know, like a lot of other wheel manufacturers, Colorado Custom, like on the billet wheels back in the day, mm -hmm. they had those, you know, 
it wasn't a big cab wheel. It looked kind of like a knockoff. Uh -huh. But they went in with an O-ring and everything, oh, okay. just like that still does. Uh -huh. But they would put two little bitty machine notches where you could take like two little pocket screwdrivers. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. like you could and, and pop it pop right out. out. Yeah. Y'all never did that. Exactly. They never gave you a spot to, to get stuff pop in it through. Okay, so you got to yep. raw dog it. You know? That's what we had on on ours out there, but you know, since I ain't with them no more, I man, these has been a headache. So I don't buy no more. That's big cap. I don't want no more big cap wheels. That's why on that cutlass, I got regular cap wheels. It's like back in the day, you know, when everybody was rolling wires, you know, yep. having to beat them on, beat, beat them, them off. off. Man, yep. Nah, man, you know. Hot, yeah. Just, you know, shit to make you go, what the hell? Mm -hmm. you know? Yep, yep. I mean, she's pretty covered. Man, appreciate it, appreciate it. I got to get, I was supposed to have been taking it to my guy to detail it. Now I don't want to get a detail with a scratched lip. <laughs> it's one thing, it's another one on that. Hey, I can't stand a scratch lip. I gotta fix that first before I do any car wash to this. Man. My boy. Man, chilling, man. Got Sugar Man out here. Come on, Happy New Year, my boy. Camera Oh, yeah. Hey, that's a good thing. Shoot. Free publicity from two people? Shoot. What you were looking at? Yeah, you see what I done? That's light work, though. You did Yesterday. Do that right now here at the shop. I, I know, but, you know. That ain't nothing, bro. That's, that's four, five minutes worth of work. I know. That's a black wheel, so, you know, black match with it, whatever, so. You got to put nail polish. <laughs> no, nah, I got the actual black paint. Do you? That, the, uh, when they sell out of autos on. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, but I ain't. I ain't, I ain't doing none of that. I'm, I'm a DA it down song, okay. so I can take some of that grind, that, that, that roughness off. Right. Yeah. I'm used to doing it. You gonna do it on the truck? Yeah, I'm used to doing that shit. I'm gonna do it while it's down at the bottom. I'm gonna tape it up, make sure I don't get on nothing. Tired. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna do it. This is my first time seeing it in person, bro. For real? You got one of the track hogs, Nah, hell no. <laughs> hell no. What they go for? Uh, the track hogs? Yeah. Up to 100. They from um from from 80, 85 to hundred. Like you do this. Yeah. But these that because these rare, it don't matter what miles you get on them, they still gonna be high. Yeah, you you won't find them. none of them under eighty thousand. If you do, then they got accidents. Was the last year for these like the Hawks too, it? Uh huh. Well twenty twenty two. I mean the Hawks and the TRXs. Uh, I'll, no, these 22s, they go only to 22. 22 yeah, okay. yep, they oh, stopped making them. Stop making track hogs with 22? Uh-huh. They ain't making them more? Mm-mm. 24 is the last of the TRX. Yeah, yeah. 24 went over the track hogs. Right. Yeah, track hog done. Yeah, 18 to 22, that's it. Sit on there I had, one, no for, cut, I had no one for a little while when they first come out. I liked it. Man, I love it. I, I'm not going to lie. Man, that's, that's the most comfortable. Why do you think I've been this the most? That's probably why I curve ran some stuff. It was just probably about that time. I've been in more than, I don't even drive my dually no more. Right. I pack up wheels and tires up in here now. Put the back seat? Yeah, put the back seat down. Yeah, so I'd rather be in this. Yeah, you got that big panoramic. That's my first time being in one of them. I ain't never seen I'm going to get all the lights and stuff done tomorrow. Like uh, everything around the doors and the dash, all oh, that stuff gonna be lighting up. Is that a package like that you could order when they was making them? Was that a? Uh, no, not for these. Yeah, they never offered on these. These that's like BMW and Mercedes. They the ones with the M your lights. Yep. Camaro. Cadillac. Yep. Camaro's got them, don't they? No. What's that? Camaro. I thought I seen somebody with a Camaro with like the lights. Some, well, Camaro. Uh, I think it's just a little strip. No, it just goes around the radio only. But on the like the CTSVs yeah. and the CTS premium luxuries, mm -hmm. they've got it that goes across the dash and into the doors. But it's dim. The only bright ones is the BMW. It's the BMW. Is the Mercedes. So they sell that stuff. It comes like in a kit with like strips. Uh huh. And like where the seams of the dash yep. is. Yep. Yep. You, you just tuck them in. Pretty neat. It looks yeah. Cool. Something different. You install that here? What's that? You install that here? Uh, no. Nah. Oh. Oh, you install them? Huh? You you, you doing I that never, too? No, no, no. Oh. You never done one. I got oh, so I got, a, do you I got No, no, I got a stereo guy that does all that stuff. Yeah, um, audio can't be doing it. Audio can't be doing it. 
The one I go to. That's who's doing mine. Right here? Uh, Audio Cat. Oh, the one that do my music and stuff. Yeah. I've never been over there. Yeah. Where are you in Dallas? Yeah, here in Irving. I mean, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Down here around this area. Local. Not around this area, but local. Right. About 45 minutes away? 35. <laughs> Man, Everything 35 from here. We from Dallas. Yeah. Everything 35. Everything 35, 40 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, I promise. You can go from the city to the country and back to the city in 30 minutes. Man, for real. From the hood. To Man, how many miles on this car? Not very many. Not very many? He going to be interested to sell this. I know. That's why I'm looking. I'm trying to buy it right now. Oh, okay. You I ain't going to jump uh, in there. So we'll see what he wants to do. Well, what it is is he... Uh, we built this car. It's 426. It's Whipple. Um, oh, yeah? We yeah. Some, uh -huh. We had some bugs with the electrical in the car. We finally got all that stuff fixed on it. And he enjoyed it some. And uh, the Toronto body went out. We finally got that issue resolved. Mm -hmm. And um, took it out and had some fun with it. And now it's got a transmission slip code. It's got a stock transmission. Oh. Oh, so he got to do so what I got, did. He got huh. to make the choice. Oh, my he, God. He yeah, I don't want to invest into this one no more. <laughs> How much is that? Uh, trans I, that trans expensive. It's not cheap. But it's a one-time deal, man. I mean, yeah. Like, you really going to keep the car and you going to beat on the car like... You, mm -hmm. you gotta step up. If not, you know how it is. Everything mm -hmm. you got a corner on. Why didn't they tell him that when they put the whipple on? I did. I built the car. Oh. I built it for him. I told him, you're gonna need a drive shaft. Yeah. You need he did what he wanted to do at the time. Well, I mean, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. People hear what they want to hear. Yeah. And you at the end of the day, let's say you got, you know, let's say you got 10,000, right? Basically. And, mm -hmm. and you want to do something. Mm -hmm. well, Ten thousand don't do the whole picture, whole thing. but you can buy the frame and you can get started. You know, right. I mean, everybody got to start somewhere. Right. So, yeah. and That's the right. transmission, the car's got I think uh, eighty six thousand miles. Okay. So I mean, I think he's probably maybe got ten thousand miles on the new motor setup. So yeah. I mean, can't be mad at it. You yeah. know, and it didn't go. It drove here. <clears> you know, it ain't like <throat> it went out and left them stranded. So, mm -hmm. but every time you get down on it, it'll slip a clutch. It's gonna slip, code, just know. like that one I had. You gonna go and try to get it from him, though? No, I just threw it out there. If if he did decide that he did not want to fix the car, you right. know, that, yeah. let me know. You, you know, give me, yeah. I mean, I can take it off his hands too, but it's, just, it's a Mac <laughs> I just want him to fix the trans first. But no, shoot, you built that trans so quick, man. I ain't. I wouldn't have no problem. Because I already know where to come or where to get the parts from. Yeah, he built the transmission, the racing transmission for it. It's expensive transmission. It costs some, cost some Forgiatos. <laughs> it costs a mountain of some Forgiatos. Yeah, the parts is the biggest cost. Yeah, it's over half. Three quarters of the Yep, yep. But that's the best. And the best parts, though. Best parts on the planet. Yeah. They don't get no better than that. And you do that, and you write the check, and then you can go do whatever you want to do. And for the most part, unless you do something really ignorant, uh huh, it's, it's good. You know? they ain't got to worry about seeing you again. No, not unless you go on something else. Uh, tear up the rear end. <laughs> tear up the axles. <laughs> hey, he got to boost up all that. Hey, I actually, are you going to keep this one? Yeah, yeah, this is mine forever. You turn it up? Yeah. Okay, well, I got a set of G Force axles for a track hawk. One of them has got a bad boot. Just needs to be set back to the Jesus. I'll make you a really good deal on it. Okay. We had okay. a customer that went ahead and upgraded to level level three or whatever. They're, uh -huh. they're, they're baddest axles. Uh -huh. But the ones he had are nice. Okay. I'm already boxed stuff and everything. Okay. Yeah, okay. If you're interested in that, let me know. I mean, okay. I'll let you know. After right I get next. done with the what's the call and stuff. Yeah, because the next thing, once you put the power, you're going to need the diff braces and you're exactly. the axles. Exactly. Oh, you got to upgrade all that too on there. Huh? Yeah. You gonna have reliable power? Yeah, I already paid for everything. Oh, you getting all that done? Yeah. Oh, you acting crazy, crazy. That's why I said I would rather him get on the old school so I can have I can have the content flowing out good than rather just doing one by one because it's gonna hold me up to do one and then you know come back for another one. You know I could be getting out my content. Three things flipping at all times. Yeah. You didn't ever look at for that. I ain't never looking for the. Yeah, this personal. Yeah. Well, everything's but, personal. But well, everything personal. Until it ain't. <laughs> yeah, you know? It's personal because I want this one at the shows with me. This and the don't. Okay. Yeah, so, so for the, the summer. Yeah, so the summer, this and the don't is what 
gonna be with me the whole time. I want the two car hauler. I'm trying to get a bumper pull, but I don't know. I might have to do the gooseneck though. The gooseneck is just don't don't, don't fit want, my Corvette. You don't, you don't want a two car hauler and a bumper pull. It's you don't. Just paying the butt to get it around town. Like if he was just really going all highway, but the problem is you going to car shows, this, that, and the other. Oh, we need to go mm -hmm. together because we both need. Trouble. But you, know, but you know, you know, I used to, you know, I used to. Um, I don't care. You could be the I used to, CD on the. Hey, cause hey. no, it ain't no, used you to. Can't, you can't. The, the thing is, I was up in the car show with my gooseneck last year. Yeah, it's easy with a gooseneck. Oh, you can okay. Take the truck all the way 90 degrees. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. You're you right. Do a two -car oh, I get what you're saying because the bumper right there is going to hit your bumper. Yeah, you just Trying to make a turn. Yeah, when you turn hard. Any trailer, any flatbed trailer, which a two car hauler bumper mm -hmm. is going to be a flatbed, you know. Yeah, single exactly. Any trailer like that, anything over about 36 foot is. Dangerous. Drunk. Yeah. Drunk. It ain't dangerous. It's just... I need the same trailer. Huh? I need the same trailer. But you trying to do something faster than me. <laughs> you trying to get it quicker than me. Next you talking about gooseneck, right? No, yeah, the gooseneck. Yeah, see, you talking about next month. I'm talking about down the line. Ain't no car shows going on next month for me. <laughs> I'm trying to get these car situated first. And to be honest, man, if you start looking at what trailers and trucks cost and the fuel to go this and that, mm -hmm. you need to start looking at Transpo. Because you, other than with what you're doing, like rolling in uh -huh. that way, you know what I'm saying? The, the it's the roll in look. Man, when I tell you that channel go through the roof when you roll in yeah. with them cars on the back of your dually and the dually looking good, it's a whole different type of video footage, boy. <laughs> hey, uh, ain't nothing like that. Man, I'm telling you, it, me sipping it to me, I can only get one. Me taking, I can take at least two. Including the dually. Yeah. You know? What I'm saying is, like, there's guys, you can rent trailers like that. Two mm -hmm. wedge. Oh, I already got a guy you that. Rent it when you need it. Yeah, yeah. So that's what, that's what he told me. He was like, I can just rent it from him whenever I need it. That's what. You know? But it's like, it'd be a headache sometimes, because sometimes when I really need it, he ain't here. Yeah, you or he ain't around. Cause, 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 you know, I gotta move, move that car over here. You well, told me thing, next though, week. One trailer. Don't do every job. Yeah. Like you don't want to. Like say you in the market to buy a trailer and you got to move cars around. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I can just get a, get a, a great a small big two car sure. trailer. That's a pain in the butt around the city. Yeah. Shopping, yeah. Shopping, exactly. Whatever. So you really kind of need two trailers. You need. I'm gonna get the single one. Single and a, yeah. But then again, like. No, I don't know. I I'm, no, I'm going to get a single one because you know how I be coming here with my cars. Yeah. You can't just be putting gooseneck through all these yeah. gates and Thank stuff you. like that. You've been to knock somebody's gate down. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. you gotta find and then you got to bag out of here and going into this type track. Oh, no. Like I said, it's kind of like it takes different stuff to kind of mm -hmm. make each job easier, you know. You got to have the one trailer to move stuff around. Yeah, exactly. And easy local, you know, and, and then that two have, when you want to hit the road. That two for the road. The if you yeah. Want to do the car show but see, this or, guy, this guy, I, I rent this trailer, uh, but I got two other people that I can just go grab their trailers right. and and haul my cars around. You know, when I go out of town, I got one trailer. I just call up this guy. He charged me like a hundred dollars a day, right. and well, I just rent here. I know. I get this trailer every time I go. What? And he got a brand new trailers. He he ain't sending you out there with no junk. He got brand new scraps. You coming this year, bro? Get your own I don't know. I'm gonna get my own single trailer. But as far as double, I, like he said, I can just really rent them. Really? I ain't gotta put them. I ain't doing off hot siding, so I don't need my own. No, fleet, though. You gotta no I had to think about my house too. I can't have that at home. Well, that's what I just said to him. But you could pay somewhere to rent it for the month, fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah, no. So if I'm gonna rent it, I might as well just rent the trailer when I need to use it. Ain't gotta. If I'm gonna rent property to storage it, right. that's wasting money. That's just like I say with storage. The reason I bought a new house is because I didn't want to spend a thousand dollars on storage. So it adds up. I just put a thousand dollars on top of what I was already paying, and I'd rather get bigger house and more. More. I thought smart about it. Set up, bro. You know, it's like people don't understand about like living in the country, right? Yeah. Because you got room. 
Man, I yeah. love the country. I can pull into my place with the big motor home, the big mm -hmm. trailer. I got big gates. And mm -hmm. I can go back in my property and turn around. Turn and around. And and <laughs> That's why I said. I kind of got a spot. Get you a shop to where you can. I'm trying to get to that. Cars. Because the problem is. <laughs> when well, you, when you get really in the car That's what I'm saying. Right. But me and him been talking about that. It's, it's really the evolution of that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it takes a while to make all them moves, but yep. when you finally get all the pieces in place, man, it's, it's nice. Definitely that. I definitely need that. The way he his stuff set up, I need all that. I need, look, I was just telling the guy yesterday about, he sent me a picture for four acres. He wants 94, 000, I mean, 40 something thousand, basically like 9,000 acres. Hmm. Oh, oh! I thought your car was bringing in a crowd over there. Yeah. Oh, that's what that is. I thought that Chevy was causing some ruckus over there. This is guy from yesterday right here. But yeah, man, Let's see what he got up in here. You still got that low rider in here? You working on? What's that? That low rider? That frame off you was doing? No, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. We just finished this uh, 442 up. Oh, that colors. Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, we got a few little things underneath it, a clean up, and she's just about ready to go home. We re had to totally rewire the entire car front to back. When I start on that, man, I'm going to get with you. You you do floor pans, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I just need a, a driver's side floor pan put in. And what was sad about this whole deal is this is a really nice guy. He's a new customer. Mm -hmm. Really nice guy. Got a got a pretty good sized car collection. This is a nice done. car. And this was built by a shop here in Dallas. And you know, okay. uh, as far as the parts and the put together, man, it's just kind of hard to knock the car. Mm -hmm. But like, when you got a customer spending this kind of money to, to put a car together, how are you what not he going said. to put a wiring harness in the car? <laughs> because what happened with this fella is the car is done, shop finished it, here's your car, sir, thank you for your business. Drives the car five times, and the first five times he takes the car out, four times I had to come home on a record. Dang. The car keeps breaking down, he's having electrical issues, problems, you know. And That's crazy. Back and forth to the shop, and they do this little thing and this mm -hmm. little thing, and at the end of the day... Spend a whole lot of money and a whole lot of time, and you really don't have nothing you can wholeheartedly just go enjoy. Exactly. Because you're scared that you ain't gonna make it from A to B, you know. So. Yeah. And I I don't normally do a job like this. Like mm -hmm. this goes against everything. There's just so much that can go wrong. If you gotta take a going behind car. somebody. Well, no, take a finished car apart, that, and then take it completely apart to rewire the whole car. Yeah. And not scratch nothing, scratch up damage nothing. nothing mess up nothing you know yep. this car got a full finished trunk and man you know, and i was looking at it swap and, you know. this is what you was talking about wasn't it sugar man yeah. when you was talking about i needed to choose between if i wanted to go with the rally look or the chrome look yes, sir. this is what you was talking about the chrome look like yours right mm -hmm. okay i see what really you're talking about depends on what you're doing with trim you know yeah. on these, any car that's got a lot of factory chrome trim chrome bumpers uh-huh then you kind of got to figure out how you I think I like my look. Up. I think this look a little too plain for me. I think I, I like my look. Is when you're going with some crazy exotic colors. Yeah. Because you can't really match. So say you got an outrageous orange. Like what the hell are you gonna put with an outrageous orange on the place? Right? Orange. Let's say if you got a crazy outrageous color, it'd be hard to kind of put. No, you do a ghost. Man, I don't know. I'm, I just like, you know what I'm talking about. You do a ghost. I'm like oh, either man. or, bro. I'm either coming with a with a black and white Riley stripe or a chrome and outrageous tangerine. But I always like the way those four four two hoods look with the stripes on it, and so I can never just take that away from that car because you know I bought my hood. I got my 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 um. Thing for the trunk, wing. my wing, everything. Well, it really just kind of depends on what your overall end game look is going to be. Like mm -hmm. cars like this, I like what I would call like a factory plus look, right? Yeah. I like all the trim. I like the chrome. And I would like the car to look pretty much like it did, but maybe just a little bit more modern. little tweaks. Not huge on the wheels because the car kind of looks better in this set down hot uh -huh. rod. This was a muscle car. Yeah. 20 to 22. I think I'm like 20s. 20s. Yeah. And it looked like a 22 in the back. Might be a 20 in the front. 20 and a 20, 22 in the back. Yeah. Mm. And then 
and that looks good, you know. It, it could have a little bit bigger wheel in the mm-hmm. front, but the car don't rub, it don't scrub, it don't... Yeah. It don't do it, none of that. No, yeah, no, the it, extra it stuff. Drives, you know. The only problem we got with it now, we've got the car completely rewired, everything working good. Mm-hmm. It's a full wire tuck, so you don't see any wiring. Yeah, exactly. You know, everything is, is hidden like it's supposed to be, yep. you know. And um, the problem is the, the brakes on this car. It's got all the wheelwood calipers. Man, it's so but, hard but to bleed yeah. wheelwood brakes. I tell it's people that. that. Like they, I don't know, something ain't right. Like I drove the car today for the first time, really. Mine go to the floor because you know on my other colors I got wheelwood. Yeah. And it's it's horrible the brakes, man. Well, they, I don't they know. They got like on this one. They got this stock portioning valve down here. Like. Oh, if you're going to change all that, you might as well change that from being stock. So we'll see what the customer wants to do. But we got this part of the project out of the way. It's uh-huh. Everything's working. Every, everything. He won't break down when he go no, out there just no. to cruise now. But we'll see. We'll see how much further we're going to take it. But, but this was a big job, man. This was a, yeah. this was a, 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 a huge undertaking. But it's crazy. I didn't see this the last time I was here. It's at my house. Oh, for real? Yeah, because when I met the customer, he was so mad. He, he got broke down on the way here. Oh. And he was so mad. He was just like. He just stopped it there. I don't, even, I don't even want to see this fucking car. And I'm like, I don't have room to take mm. it in, you know, and here at the shop. And mm-hmm. he used to say, man, if we're going to do business, he said, uh, I need you to, you know. Yeah. So I said, man, the only way I can do it, take it in right now, is I have to take it to the house and put it in my shop at the house mm-hmm. until I can get to it. Yeah. So I did that. And then I ended up doing most of the car at the house. Oh, just shoot. Because on because, your little downtime. Well, yeah, I guess you could call it that. Yeah. My personal time. Yeah. But but it kind of worked out better. I just refinished the shop at the house. Mm-hmm. Got all the pops and floors done. Everything's nice. I know you clean. sold me. God, leave, man. So it was a lot of nice space mm-hmm. to be able to take everything out and set it out. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to store on a shelf and yeah. move stuff around like you do up here. You uh-huh. know? So it was nice to have that extra room to do this project. Yeah, and then and it, it's a lot of everything. not a lot of people walking around and consistently Nobody. to mess it Nobody. up, to yeah. scratch it or anything yeah. like that. So. so it all worked out good, but uh, a few more yeah, little small things. Nice, and nice car. It's going to be a, a real fun car for him. Got the interior, everything done too. Console. Yeah, the one shop built the whole car. They did the interior, they did the paint work, and they're a well-known shop here in Dallas. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just I, I don't understand how you could. Uh, you know. Yeah, I know. The, the, the problem that I'm seeing. More that's more that's more. where the second hand headaches come in at. Man, it's just. <laughs> you know, the sad part about it is it's the shortcuts, man. Yeah. You know, uh, every shop is doing their best because. <clears throat> You know, they trying to so most of the time they trying to work with their budget. Hard to get good, you know. No, this wasn't a budget thing. This was yeah. just, this is the way they built the car. Because mm-hmm. this customer here is pretty much I think was hands off. Other than just so it wasn't uh, even a budget in a way. They just dropped the ball. Now we hear the numbers now. <laughs> wasn't much of a budget in my yeah. Opinion. I mean it was it was pretty much the build probably the way the money should have been. Yeah. That's all they did. Uh huh. But like if you're gonna do all that, why would you not rewire that? Yeah, anymore? rewire. Why, why, why would you cut that corner? Like I can see, I would rather cut, you know, cut a corner on stereo or wheels yeah. or, or something that you could always easily go back and change later. Yeah. Versus like the bunch of taking a whole car apart. Because yeah, this car would have cut on fire. Yeah. I, I promise you, I, I got the old wiring in the back of the car. There is no way this car would not at some point caught cut on, on fire. fire. I promise. Yeah. I bet anything on. It. Um, and you know I've been through that before, so I don't want to go through that ever again. You know, like that's, that's the worst. That's why I took my car apart. That's the, that's the worst thing that can happen to anybody that's got an investment in something they care about. Man. Mm-hmm. Your home or your car. Like, fire is fire. There's a fire. Man. Yep. Like, ain't no coming back from that. I mean, not unless you rebuild the whole car again. Mm-hmm. And it, it happens, you know. Luckily, we've never had one catch on fire. We've had a couple of small fires here in the shop mm-hmm. working on stuff, but nothing we couldn't real quickly deal with. But I mean, that happens. You know, you <laughs> I can be at home. You like this that you've paid a lot of money for, and you get cleaned up, and you're going to take your car out for a nice Sunday drive, and you sit at the red light, and you start smelling something burning, and next mm-hmm. thing you know, there's smoke, and then not many people are carrying around fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers, yeah. So now, it's just really bad about, you know, how quick can you get it out, and how much yeah. loss are you going to take? Fire well, I couldn't. I couldn't take nothing. I ain't have no fire extinguisher, no nothing. Yeah, you it's know, scary, man. and and then just looking at it, looking at your hard work, just on fire, and you can't do nothing about it. Then the people on the phone trying to take your whole life story, and you just want somebody to come put it out. 
So you can at least catch something. Yeah. You I know, it, it's it's heartbreaking. I promise you. Yeah, it's, it's a bad deal, man. You know, and it's a it's a very expensive thing to come back from when it does happen. Mm-hmm. Well done. But yeah, y'all. Uh, I'm finna chop it up with Matt a little bit, and then um, we definitely okay. Okay, you got it. Yeah, I'm finna chop it up with him. Let me show y'all what he got up in here. Oh, he got a chop top joint. I see it, the big ram over there. Yeah, that low rod is gone. Oh, he got the motor sitting on this thing. QA1. But this is what he finna do to my car. He finna do the frame notch for the front and for the back. So it's gonna look like this. So, the front and the back. Hey, this is what he finna do to mine. The frame notch and stuff. Which one? The dunk? Yeah. No, no, the colors. The one like mine? No, the other one. Oh, oh what you talking about this? No, I'm talking about the frame part. Which part? So it can turn. About? You got two colors, don't you? I got three colors. Three colors. Yeah. Oh, the green one. <laughs> the green one. Wait, yeah, because I got the sixes on it. Right, the gold. I want to turn. Right. Yeah, turn and then well, the you back part. Yeah. Okay. I ain't finna do all this. Right. I'm finna do this. What motor is it? The LS3? The LS3? Mm. That, that motor nasty, bro. Oh, yeah. That, that Come on, now. It was a bad motor, Jack. But that's what I got. And you got 6 2 Jack? Yeah. You probably sit on the floor, right? Up in what you call shop? Yeah. Mm hmm. Notches? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to do. What's going on, brother? Chilling, chilling. So I got I got my green one. This the same frame, the exact same frame. I got to get him to do this. He told me to bring it in next week. I, I got to get it done. I can't even, my, my the car won't move good. It's acting like it's brakes mm -hmm. right now. What is that just ran through here? Yeah. Oh, I was finna say. <laughs> I don't want nothing sneaking up on us now. <laughs> but yeah, this one got new bushing, new, new line, brake lines, new yeah. gas line, new, the whole car new. Mm -hmm. That's some good bushing, boy. You know when people cars be wopsided and lean into one side, one side ain't never the right stance, that's because they bushings be bad. I got, I think I got bushings on my back left side. Just change them. I'm gonna do a frame off on the niggas be talking to me. <laughs> you gonna do that frame off? Hey, why prove a point to somebody? Everybody else ain't gonna do nothing but coat the bottom of theirs and paint the bottom of their frame black like this and win all the car shows. I'm gonna have my car like this. Yeah, that's powder coated. I'm gonna have my car like this right here at the car show, sitting on all the cans and the other parts of the car are jacked up over. Yeah, but you ain't gonna be able to drive it out and move it on and off. Put it back on the tuck. <laughs> Take it back off. But then they gonna say your shit don't run. They gonna be another conversation. They gonna be like, oh man, he couldn't afford to put the car together before he came. Come on now. Bro, you can't, the internet is undefeated. You can't beat the internet, man. They gonna find a way to go and piss on your parade just that easy. Oh, he couldn't get the car to sit on the frame. He went the cheat route. His mechanic is a bozo. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. They couldn't line it up right. Yep, they notched the frame and the goddamn bushes don't line up for the screws to go through to the body. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you heard that before? Hey, I'm telling you. Huh? What kind of car going on here? This is a, a Grand National. Regal. Regal, Regal, Regal. I keep saying Grand National for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 24. <clears throat> Look on the sticker. Yeah, 24. <clears throat> yep. He just got, he just got too big a wheel in the front. I mean, too big of a tire. This tire too big for the front. 275 is a back tire. He supposed to went with a 245.30 for the front. So <laughs> mm-hmm. You got to ride a bike? Uh, a little bit. You know, I had dirt bike, four wheelers, that type stuff. Okay, okay. Same shit. <laughs> One down, five up, right? Four up. 
I thought it five up. No, that's five gears. One down and the four up. Yeah, yeah, I'm right, you're right. You're right. Mike Hart, this old classic right here. What's up with this bird gang right here? <laughs> That's you, Mr. Uh, Nothing to Hide from God. I was talking about on my channel the other day, gang. Like, my bird don't really give me the vibes like I said. I don't know if it's. I saw you talk about that in a video like a month and a half ago. When you was driving and you was on your way up here, actually in the city. Because you ain't got that grown ass man up under there, and that's all it is, I promise you. Once you get that same response, you gonna be like, oh, I'm in the birth to hold. You know what I'm saying? Just like I say, all my other cars, I don't get the feelings of Hellcats. It's because that grown ass man ain't in there. Now, I'm the track hog. What's your favorite car from Mark right now? The track hog. You like the track? Better than all that shit. Everything I never had. The track is better. I ain't gonna cap you out. Uh -huh. I done been in all of them. No, <laughs> Red eyes and all shit. That's why I had to act. And my fucking Hellcat was faster than demons and all that shit. So all that shit the same. Right. Same power. My track hog finna beat all them demons. <laughs> See, so <laughs> don't pull up beside me. <laughs> it, it's, it's over. Come on, man. Don't pull up beside me. I'm getting real disrespectful. On sixes. Fuck you, man. See. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had to take it there. I had to take it there. You feel me? I had to definitely take it there. But y'all, so I'm a this is how my cutlass was before it went to the guy shop. Everything was nice, everything was painted right. All my arms, everything was new, all my boats was new. Everything on my front of my car was new. And my back suspension, all that stuff, I had brand new. You know what I'm saying? And dude let myself up and let rain hit myself and rusted out all my parts on the boats and stuff. And you know, it's, man, when you, when you get away from that new look, it's like, you gotta start over and take all that stuff off and redo it and the parts is brand new. So, Hey, that's the shit we go through, man. And a lot of people don't know I got wheel wood brakes in the front of my colors too. The one that I took apart too. So a lot of people don't know how much money I got in that car, but they just be talking, man. Just be talking. We ain't listening, but we finna go in here and talk about Badonka Donk and uh, get everything together with it. I gotta bring the motor and transmission over here. You feel me? Gotta do that. And we got to get this frame notch quote. So I can bring it to them next week and get that done. You feel me? And y'all keep talking. You know what I'm saying? Put one of these on y'all. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, sir, Steve. Yes, sir, Steve. He just got motors over here that said it. Yeah. Couldn't be me. They'll be in some. <laughs> they all going something. Yeah. Just gotta get the Just gotta get the time for it. Yeah. I can not get it work because he does a lot of cool stuff. Uh-huh. But this is really I cool. sure didn't notice it. Because like it's got a holly, it's got a holly uh And it fits right. Yeah, it's perfect. Made, yeah, it's all it's all hand built. Yeah, That's crazy. Escalade got a, got a dash in there. Bracket, got a few other little things. It's like a temporary brake switch. The dash. Dang. Oh, that's one of them cold dashes. Yeah, the new, the new digital. Yeah, auto. that's what I want in my old school. But like everything. That dash right there? Check this out. Come on. Everything works. Everything. You Escalade turn the headlights dash. on. <laughs> Headlights work. High beams, high beams. Turn signal. Get all that. Yeah, he ain't you know, get all that. Everything works. The shifter, all the half shift, mm -hmm. everything works. 
Damn. And it's got the console, you know, Windows and everything. Uh-huh. The only aftermarket like, <laughs> that we use were just for the windows and the door poppers. And they're the, the black ones in the middle. Uh-huh. But all billet, vintage air, 9-inch Alpine screen. And the audio system that they built that goes in this thing. Man, he went crazy on this. Yeah. It's all everything on Everything the worked. All the steering wheel controls from the radio. Uh-huh. Work. Everything worked. <coughs> Man, to be honest, by the time the interior job gets done with the audio, and if I was going to speculate, I'd probably say around 20. Yeah. It's a lot of work. The seats and all though, right? The seats, I put these the seats in it back when I did the LS swap. They come with wrapping the seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah everything. Yeah. So, so he got the audio, everything. Right. It's getting done. So we actually did come part in later, right? That means yeah, yeah, yeah. you the dad for you you all that in the later, right? No, yeah. No. Do that for example. Oh, that bright, vibrant orange. Yes. And then the, Damn. It's going to be the color of the outside of the color right here. The color of the firewall. That Man, way. your LS swaps be so clean and neat. Yeah, this is, a, this is run and driving truck. Now, what it's back over here for now is i got to build all the air conditioning lines and hoses uh -huh. for it. And uh, we've got just a little bit of wiring to finish up for the air conditioning. Uh huh. And uh, so we're building it to where, like when this truck gets painted, of course the fenders and everything have to come off. So, so what are air conditioning lines going to go? I'm you gonna, have to I'm put gonna, some holes I'm in I'm going to go hoses around the fender tubs and then into the firewall. Okay. That way you could take the fenders off and on the truck. Like if you see, you'll see any wires, all yep. the wires will run through the frame. Like okay. normally, you know, wires all run up in here, you know, mm -hmm. on, on the sides going to the headlights. On this one, you see no wires because all the wires are tucked. They all go down and underneath the frame <coughs> and like in the headlights. But it's got a suburban front. This is a 73 model truck mm -hmm. with a 91 suburban front end. But then we put one piece 94 Euro headlights in it versus the two little square headlights. Yeah, it's got yeah. a Euro light. Like, there's a lot of like the OBS is coming with. There's a lot of little tricks on this truck, just you know, and it's different, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's just kind of what the customer, you know. Man, this is yeah. man, these are the type of installs I like. Yeah, but you know, nice gas struts on the hood, you know, to wear. I gotta get air. My car did not come with air option, really? AC option. Yeah, yeah on the don't. I know. I need air. I'm, I'm definitely going to need that. But it, it's pretty cool. It's got one of the windows in the sides. It'll have flush mount windshield in it. Mm -hmm. you know, um, everything's shaved. Everything's, you know, really pretty much ready to start just getting gapped up and ready for paint. What made him want to go with the top, top look? Because so, <laughs> he's shorting it too, right? No, no. This is a factory body truck. They only made oh, okay. these trucks like three years, 73 through 75 <coughs> or six. Mm -hmm. um, but they're full convertible, like you see yeah. from the factory. So oh, they are already factory. full convert. It's a factory <coughs> full, full lift off top truck. Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's been modified is the front end. You know, the front. It's got a newer front end on it. Uh huh. But everything else is the original. <coughs> Mm. But all the rust was fixed on it, and you know it's been put in epoxy primer. And yeah. now, when I finish the last little bit of mechanical stuff, it'll go to the body shop and, and they'll, get the they'll, they'll gap we'll it all up and dial it all in and, mm -hmm. and spray it. 
and then it'll go back to the stereo guy and he will install everything that he got like he's right now working on wrapping all the panels and you know Mm -hmm. everything that stuff take time everything's built fitted and then blown back apart to do all the pretty work yeah i know how that is man that's how all them shows i used to watch they put the whole car together and then break it down then go to paint then go to interior then the motor go back in what's crazy is You see all of that. <clears throat> people still build cars backwards every day. Yeah. Like it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely crazy. But now we, we've got, like I said, there's a few things to do on this one. We're fixing to get back on this car. The body shop has the floor pans and everything finished. On oh, the okay. So we're fixing to, to get on the regal joint and, and bang it on the rest of the way out. Okay, okay. Yeah, this one, I can't wait to see that one. You got to call me as soon as you're done with that one. Yeah, it'd be a simple, <laughs> nice, clean build, you know. I know, just knowing that I've seen it in pieces. Yeah. I want them to see it together, you know. That's kind of this cool thing, like we talked about. i seen it when it didn't have no frame notch, no powder-coated frame, no nothing. It was just all metal the, the way it came out. And the thing is, you know, like on these big projects, we have to kind of we have to kind of jump around in the shop. Exactly. Right? You you get to a point where you run out of parts and you get to the next stage, and all those next decisions have to be made, and those parts come in. And then mm-hmm. when we do big projects like this, we work on them in big chunks. It's not something that you get to work on like every single day. Exactly. Because you can't have parts. It's really hard yeah. to have all the parts unless. You have that perfect customer that makes every decision on the front. You know? Yeah. Most of the stuff is kind of just like a... After. Yeah. Yeah. You do it as Making, you go. Yep, yep. Makes it easier on the money. Makes it easier on the decisions, you know? Yeah. Like I always tell you, a person just ain't got just a lot of money. Just say, hey, here's the budget. I'm breaking you off this check. Yeah. Some people have to go in, in stages and steps and stuff. And I just want to show people that you can go in stages and steps and, 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 and build a good car, too. Yeah, everybody don't have that type of money to just blow like that. Yeah, you well, know. I mean, and, and, and everybody that's an enthusiast does it to their level, right? Exactly. Like, and I ain't knocking anybody's level. You know, I mean, <coughs> from the the kid that ain't got the money and mm-hmm. trying to do something, figure it out in the driveway, watching YouTube videos. Hey, you know that was me. To, to the guy <laughs> that decides that he wants a big money car and. He works a regular job. He's a regular person. And that's, it takes that's five you. years. That's you. <laughs> I'm the garage guy. Yeah, you the big. I've, he go next level. I've, I've very <laughs> rarely seen too many customers. And I've had a few over the years where, you know, it's just a matter of how fast they ain't a matter of yeah. how much. Because yeah. there are those customers. Like, yeah. They don't want to wait a year for a call. If, if if I can do it like that, I would rather well, do yeah, it like that. Everybody could. Yeah. Right? We could hit yeah. the lottery. We'd all win. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, the average person, it takes man, people people that are getting into cars, you know, as you get in the scene or get into a style that you like or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, you just kind of learn that you got to figure out what you want and the path to get there. Yeah. It really don't matter how long the journey is, as mm-hmm. long as you got a place to go. Yeah. You know, I mean, you're going to have trials and tribulations. You're going to have setbacks. Mm-hmm. You're going to have a month where you ain't got the extra money yeah. because you've got real life problems. Yeah. You know, me, and me, last year or two. Yeah, man, it, it caught me at time. the last month, like last month, like. Yeah. Life yeah, just hit me. The problem is that is life, though, right? Like life never stopped life. And I talked about this in my last. I, I did video, too. Right? Yeah. Yesterday I said, life, right? You can have a million dollars, life still gonna life, right? You could be doing good, life still. Mm-hmm. You can hit the lotto tonight, life still gonna life. You could be down on luck, life still gonna life. Whether you're doing good, whether you're doing bad. So, what are you gonna do? What system you gonna come up with to 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 work through in life, life? Mm-hmm. That's what I had to figure out. I guess the biggest thing I could say about that, you know, I, I, I'm fixing to be 49 years old, and, you know, the biggest thing I can say about it, no matter what the problem is, mm-hmm. it's just a mindset of how you approach things. Mm-hmm. It could be a problem with, with a relationship, it could be a problem with money, a mm-hmm. job, what, what you, you could put any label on it you want to, it's really just the mindset of the person. Mm-hmm. You can either deal with everything when it come head on, you know, yep. and find a path and a solution and a way out of it, yep. or you can stick your head in the sand, you know what I'm saying? And Man. there's two types of people. I, I find my way out when and it I comes. Have to because nobody going to come save me, <laughs> uh-uh. you know? I mean, I'm nobody, on my own. There ain't no magic. <laughs> I've been on my own for, for a while, so, you know, yeah. whatever problems, just like what I'm doing, fighting for my life right now, is like, 
people don't understand how much that then you know transition throughout their time you know you yeah. know what i'm saying and, and for instance, right what i just said right life just got the life in on you yeah. right but you still had to pull your pants up put your big boy drawers on still get up hit these videos you still yeah. got peers and friends like me that at the same time you ain't doing no sucker stuff still you dealing mm -hmm. with your situation not bringing it upon me him nobody else and not yeah. doing nothing else with nobody you dealing with it and still uh -huh. record still doing your job yeah. and you don't know unless you be like hey y'all got a situation you know yeah, what I'm saying? That, that really falls into everybody, right? Like, you know, everybody, no matter, in the, in the million dollars, people, some people really think that a million some, dollars. some money really your changes problem, your no. problems. No, it doesn't. It, it actually, it, 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 to me, the more money is just like what they said, the more problems. Yeah. I never had problems with what I have now. I never had so many people to reach out the way they reach now. And it's not for no checking on me well, type. That's why people, I think, you know, can relate. Because they don't have to be doing the same thing as you to relate to something that you're going through, mm -hmm. right? You know, like, as a business owner, as a father, um, as a husband, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, there's going to be things that are going to slap you. Yeah. And you're not going to see it coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I also am a firm believer is everything that happens to you, no matter what it is, it makes you stronger and smarter. Mm -hmm. Like, you won't get caught up in that. Whatever the trap is, whatever yeah. the situation is, bet you won't do it twice. Exactly. Or if, I mean, some people, some people don't have the ability to learn from the things that happen. Yeah. But most people, happen, you know how to deal with it. But, but, but some people's stuff is just a literally a mistake. Mm -hmm. And that's really what mine was, a mistake. But this mistake transitioned to something bigger than what people even thought. Because you have to think about it. I still went through everything I went through, federal, state. So all that can come back and hunt you when you get in trouble again. Because you got to think about it. Anytime you catch a case for having something as a felon, that's the feds get involved again. And that's what a lot of people don't understand what I'm facing, what, how my mind thinks. Like, yeah, it's my dope to get kicked in every fucking night. I, that's why I'm up all night. In, 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 you know what I'm saying? In, in honesty, the more things you go through and have to deal with, the, the smarter of a person it's supposed to make you. But what mm -hmm. we all trip up is we all get a certain amount of comfort, right? You yeah. get a certain amount of relax because you're not facing the struggles mm -hmm. you faced from God. Before exactly. you God. Charleston White just Charleston said that. you on point like, yeah. man, yeah. I ain't got time to play no game. That cat does speak some truth. Man. Like, people... <laughs> People have a tendency to downplay certain stuff, and it's like really, mm -hmm. man, it's like, no, you just you just slip. Mm -hmm. You know, like like now when things happen to me, for perfect example, we got a Bronco, real nice Bronco. We did for a customer. Mm -hmm. They blew the motor up. We got the motor out of the truck. It was the holidays. We were waiting on some parts. I had some other cars that were, in my mind, more potential for something to happen mm -hmm. if they were outside. So that truck got locked up. No motor in it, mm -hmm. no custom wheels on it. It has a very nice stereo system, but it's all hidden. It's not yeah. so you can look through the window and see, right? Mm -hmm. So I made the conscious decision that one's going to go outside. You know, we got cameras, we got monitoring, you know, but I would rather that be outside than something with some 4Gs or something, yeah. you know, something that has <clears> people to see. Exactly. exactly. Hey, right? Well, what's going to interest them? Guess what? You know, it was uh, day before uh, day before New Year's. And middle of the night, little old, you know, whatever, tried to cut through the fence and come through. And we were, our response time was seven minutes. But in seven that one. minutes, he was able to go to that truck, look in, just seen that it had some kind of an aftermarket radio, mm -hmm. knock a window, go in, pull the radio, cut all the wires, and just oh, seven minutes. Shit. Now we would, we was here in seven minutes, mm -hmm. but that seven minutes was enough time for to them do to do what the little damage they did. Thousand fifteen hundred dollars worth of damage. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was mad, but the reality is, no, you were slipping. Yeah, you should have never done that. Got too comfortable. You should have, even though we were trying to close for the holidays and everybody, you know, mm -hmm. trying to get everybody had it early, and because we take a week vacation, you know. Yeah. Um, I should have been smarter. And figure out a way to make sure there was no Nothing way could happen. that anything could have happened. Yeah. You know? So, 
do I get like super mad? Because really, if you get super mad, I didn't get mad at myself. Because right. I sat there and looked at that truck. And I didn't get decision. super mad either. I just dealt with it. Just dealt I with was it. locked up and I was just sleeping on the floor and I was like, man, you, you got yourself here. I mean, I mean, how many, like, I, you know what I'm saying? I was younger, one time I went to jail when I was younger and I was just <laughs> in a car with a cat that had some stuff that I didn't know nothing about. Yeah. You know? Not that I didn't know what the cat did because I did. Not yeah. that I didn't think that wasn't a possibility because it probably was. Yeah. But we was just running down the street, you know. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you jammed up in some stuff that you ain't got nothing to do with. And there ain't no crime yeah. talking your way out of it. Like, yeah, baby. Yeah, you know, that's why I be telling people. Like, a lot of people be, don't understand me, I'm is, like, hey, is I done been through so much worse in my life. I'm like, bro, if you think I'm a crying bitch about this, no, bro, I done been through so much worse. But the thing is. The thing I, is, I, I got a family. You, what, I don't know your situation. Yeah. Your business. But I bet you won't slip again. Nah, I mean, ain't no reason to. No, you know, so, I mean, yeah, I, what, whatever happens. But it's really going to make me solve the problem. If I can beat the situation, I can solve the problem always, while I'm trying to beat it. You always got to fight for what you think is right on yeah. the situation. That's part of the struggle, right? Like Because the way the law is set up now, yeah. it's easy for me to beat my attorney. He don't have no bad blood at all no bad feeling no good feeling no yeah. nothing he's like oh i'm beating this yeah. you know but you know at this at the same time the same it's how time. can i prevent this from happening again well, no, that, because i'm gonna be me but at the end of the day i'm not trying to be stupid you just you know what's the old saying don't hate the player hate the game yeah when the game beats you yeah. You can't be mad at the game. You exactly. You gotta learn a smarter way of playing it. You mm-hmm. gotta look out for yourself just that much more. You gotta make sure that certain things. But that's why I'm. Like it gets as simple as just the people you're around. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if you are in situations that are things are going on that are out of your control and you really kind of know. Like, yeah. Well, people say, I mean, I didn't, man, come on, man. Yeah. Like you, there are key. <laughs> there, there, are key yeah. there are key indicators. That there's yeah, some stuff going over mm-hmm. here that is not on the up and up. I don't and care what it is. Did. You know, yeah. you could be at the tire shop and see some stuff going down. Guess what? I'm not going back to that tire shop. Why? Exactly. Because I don't want to be here when the men in the match jump out of the vans. I can mm-hmm. see y'all doing something nice. You know, and I think that's just wisdom. And Because like so many Bro. times people yeah. talk about, man, well, it wasn't me. Yeah, okay, it was well, you. Maybe it wasn't you, but like you finna get you, charged for you it. You ain't dumb. Yeah, that, and that's that's what I'm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that it ain't mine, but at the end of the day, I ain't telling on nobody. Like you know, it ain't no they charging you with it regardless. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, so it ain't nothing you can go by. The only thing I can do is how I'm gonna help my lawyer. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do? My first steps is solve problems, solution to an issue. Go get my felony expunged. Bam. Now they can't say that. Everything is gone. Then the rest, I just, hey, what can I do for this other charge? Well, that's you know what I'm of, saying? That's, that's kind of like... Take my probation for it. Do what I got to do. That's beating the game, right? Like that's, in, that's in any form of life, you know, whether it be dealing in a, in a legal situation mm-hmm. or dealing with a situation at your job where, mm-hmm. you know, you're not being respected or, or things ain't right, you know, you can make the choice, man. You can stay there and keep yeah. putting up with it, dealing with it, or, or you can... You can make a conscious choice to do something different. Everybody, uh-huh. that's the one thing that we all have in this country that can't nobody take away is the choice, man. Yeah. You have a choice here, you know, and it ain't like that all over the world. But here in this country, you do have a choice. And for any bad thing that happens to you, there is a way to figure yeah. out how to play the game. Yeah, you know? yeah. And you just got to be smarter than the game. And you know? got to be willing to spend that money because everything right. comes with a price. Everything. I'm telling you. Everything. So, like I said, you know, the reason I can't come to you right now with my budget the way I wanted it is because I, this situation right here. If anything happened, I need to make sure my wife still can provide and stuff for herself. Because that's just being responsible, yeah. bro. Like, that's being stand-up. Like, that... That, that's the thing that it takes. I want to come to you and be like, hey, I got 50000 Hey, let's just go and do what we need to do. You know, I, I would love to do that. There's a path to everything. Yeah. Maybe this go around, it ain't quicker. Maybe it does mm-hmm. take another. Maybe it does make you have to go three steps back to make, you know, a different path mm-hmm. and come back to where that you were at to recover time losses, yeah. financial losses, 
saving face or whatever, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But that's that's just the reality of it, man. Yeah. And, you know, people go through that kind of stuff every day on different scales, different levels, different things. But, mm-hmm. man, if you think that that, that stops, that never stops. Man. Yeah. Like, Life never stops. That's, never that's, lock, never stops. No, 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 no. And, this, and, and this the thing we always got to... <laughs> I don't care what you in. Nigga, it can get worse. Yeah, I wake it up can get worse. Crazy. That's why I said. It can get worse. Yesterday, after me losing my friend, and then I went outside, hey, man, one, one tire rim scratched up, then I went, got in the other one, now that one scratched up. I'm like, damn, it, is the devil really working this hard? Man, I just think that's just that's just the trials and tribulations of life, man. Life and, just and, never stop life. And I, I just started laughing. You know, yeah. Bad. yeah, because I just started laughing. The thing about it is, is the more things you have going, the more issues you're going to deal with. Two things I do every morning when I wake up: thankful that I woke up. Yep. Second thing is, I wonder what's going to happen today. Yep. Now, I know what I already know. Yeah, what's what, happen. what is that? I wonder what else happens. Is there going to be an employee that doesn't show up? Is there going to be a part that doesn't show up? Is there going to mm-hmm. be an unhappy customer? Is there going to be a complication figuring out a problem? Mm-hmm. That's every day. Yeah, that's every day. And, and, and that's, that's in everybody's life, right? You know, mm-hmm. the, the, the man or woman didn't know that the car wasn't going to start when they went out to get the kids this morning, but it didn't. Yeah, it didn't. You know, like what, whatever. They didn't know they were going to get fired when they walked into the job that they've been at 15 years. Yep. But it happened. You know, so I, I think that's just trials and tribulations. Man, if people have been working on their job 15 years and they get fired, that's different. That happens every day, bro. Yeah, my homeboy was on his job 20 some years and yeah. they laid him off. Right before, right before. Right before Christmas, all we don't, that. We don't live. And what was their reason? Oh, they just, they lost their contract we with the company. Retire from them. Yeah, well, yeah. So how do you start over after that? What do you do? Man, you you have, I mean, he started. Then. The thing is, you figure out what solution to help you not go through that situation again. And now he's starting his own business with what he was already doing, and he took it into his own hands. Yeah, and turned a negative into a positive. Yeah. You know? Like, now, he way. getting contracts for more than what he was getting paid with the company. That's what I'm saying. For every, like, and you can probably relate to this, probably everybody can relate to this. The worst, darkest time in your life, mm-hmm. the, the worst things that have happened to you Mm -hmm. we all sit there in that moment Mm -hmm. and just be like man what did I do or how do I not make this happen again Mm -hmm. but at the end of the day you can move past yeah yeah you definitely can like nothing there's nothing is the end there's only one end yeah and there's only on the ground yeah Yeah. sometimes you can't prepare for the unrepairable so of course you can that's just called adaptability though man well well when I say that if 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 I pull out this parking lot right here, right? And this is what I go back to say earlier, what system are you gonna use when life get the life and no matter if you're doing good or bad? Because if we pull out this lot and some fool come out the way and just smack right into you, you had no control over that. Yeah. Right? But how you how you react to it and how you're gonna deal with it, what system are you using, how you going about it, because this is life. Life will smack you from the left, mm-hmm. life will smack you from the right. The left meaning you could have controlled it. The right meaning you couldn't have controlled it. So you have to be able to accept life. What's well, that mentality is like, man, things can't get no worse. Yeah. Oh, bro, no. They can't it all. definitely can get worse. I've said that a couple times in my life. Man, it is going to get no worse than this. And then something really, really bad yeah. happens. It's like, ooh, hang on, man. That's perspective, man. Let me... Back you know, you know, I said that one time, and it bit me, and I never said that ever again in my life. So, you know, the first time I, I, I caught a charge down here. No, dead serious. About my situation. No. That's about how what can't get no worse. They just stole my truck. Oh yeah. Bro. No, so I graduated CDL school on November third. That was like a month and change ago, right? I, I came to Dallas to celebrate, right? Check this out. My dually right here, the one outside. I'm not looking over there right now, but hold on. Still my duty. You know, I got my dirt bike on the back. 13000 that was 14000 that dirt bike, whatever, right? It's still the duty. Right? I call the police. No, I call OnStar. Hey, I'm just with my car at. Sorry, we looking at your car, sir, but we can't help you because it's a hazard to your safety and the other person's safety. You might get something done to you or you might do something. I said, well, what am I paying y'all for this? You got to be present with the police. I said, okay, click. Now I'm going to the murder. She asked me. They took my duty truck. Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't got no units available. I'm looking at my phone trying to make sure it's 911, right? <laughs> Boom, let's see how they got no units available. They said, sorry, sir, we get 50 to 60 calls in Dallas. 
every day of theft is the number one. I'm like, okay, bet. Cool, hang up this phone. Call them other phone. You know I keep two of them phones on. So call them other phone. Hey, yo, 911, what's the murder? Seven people just got shot over here. Y'all just get up raised up. Oh, sir, what's the woo woo? So they come up there. Who got shot? I said, nobody, my truck gone. I said, y'all need to find my truck. <laughs> oh, it's on the phone. They want to talk to y'all, right? So they tell them where it's at. They're like, okay, the GPS system was too rock. Nine minutes from here. So boom, stuff still getting worked, right? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, now I'm talking about about a, about a second. Truck gone, one star don't want to help me. Police somebody, they can't help me. Now police get there, they threw the, they, now within a minute, they just threw the one star tracker out that they playing games, cat and mouse with it. Boom, truck gone, right? Okay, bet. Hotel, won't let me see the camera. Okay, boom, I Uber home. Okay, bet, check me out. Next day, it, it, you think that's bad, 20,000 in the truck, Dirt bike on the back of the truck. The dually truck gone. This is the first night, right? You think it's bad now? So he was just about right? to build that car with Check the with the bread. Check this out. Yeah. Yeah. And the trailer. Yeah. The motor. trailer. Check this out. Next day, what you think it kind of got worse the next day? I'm going to just take one guess. We sit in somebody's situation, think it can't get worse. The next day after all that happened, what do you think happened? Next day, it got even worse than all of that. With that situation. Can't track the truck no more. Right? No insurance on the truck. Yeah, he ain't had insurance on the truck. Two days before this happened. Hang on. Okay, finish your story. I got one for you. Two days before this happened. Now I'm now I got five cars on my insurance, including the four wheel. Everything had insurance on it. When they called me, I paid up about a six month every time they called me, right? This the only vehicle that don't got insurance on it at the time. But besides my dirt bike, I got insurance on my phone. I ain't have it on my dirt bike. But my truck, they said, sorry, sir, your insurance was left two days ago. We were going to call you like we usually do. We've been hammered. And even if you would have called us, we wasn't going to pick up because he was hammered. But if anything <laughs> happened in between this time and today, you are not insured. I said, oh, my God. Let's check this out. Trials and tribulations, right? Mm -hmm. But in the hindsight, you got the truck back. Mm -hmm. Damage wasn't for you. It was no damage. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yes, like, sir. So, yes, sir. so yes, sir. if you would look at that situation today, now we can sit here and halfway chuckle about it because, like you said, can't get no worse, it gets worse. Can't get mm -hmm. no worse, it gets worse. In the end, everything worked out. And then I did the same thing. Tell me why I lost my job. I caught a charge. They suspended my license immediately. I lost my job the next day. Then turn around, I was like, man, it just can't get no worse than this. I'm going head over heels, going through it. My car blow up on me. No. Bro, I'm telling hey. you. Life of life, boy. Hey, check, check. Bro, I within the same week, I, I was going to a job interview. I, you know, truck driver, you thinking, man, I got to go get another job, you know. Because when they find out some you know, hits your record sometime, they'll just fire you immediately. But they were like, now my insurance rate at the company going to go up. It's a, it's a system. Yeah. So now yeah. this out. October 28th of last year, it just, just happened, right? It was my wedding day. So for two and a half months before my wedding, I've been remodeling my big shop mm -hmm. in my house. Poxy floors, all new sheetrock. We have the whole inside the building. He got to looking so good that my fiance goes, well, instead of going and renting a place to have a wedding, why don't we just do it here? We got a big, nice mm -hmm. job, and we could decorate it, and we could just have the wedding here. Smart. And since we spent two and a half years. I like years, women like that, bro, saving money, don't yeah. think. You know what I'm saying? Why go do that? I like with all women don't yeah. think like that, bro. Some women think, oh, oh we gotta be no, crazy. Only thing that matters is proven to us when we look in our bank account. Yeah. That's proven. So check this though. Talk to me. So we spent two and a half years remodeling the house and the property. I mm -hmm. spent the last four months remodeling the shop. Now we're getting ready to have the wedding. We do lights, we do catering, we got everything set up, right? It's the it's the Friday night. Before the wedding, the wedding is on Saturday, October twenty eighth, mm -hmm. three o'clock in the afternoon, and the party is at the house at five, right after the wedding. Right? It is October twenty seventh on Friday night at ten o'clock when the rain comes. And when I say rain, I mean you rain. cannot see ten feet. It rains so hard. Oh, I've had this property for sixteen years, yeah. never seen a flood. 
that night, we got 17 inches of rain in six and a half hours. And when I went to bed at 1 a.m. and woke up at 5.30 a.m., guess what I see? The flood. Water world. It flooded my whole property. Mm. It flooded my entire shop. It flooded the entire wedding venue. My CTSV went under. Mm. Right? Wedding. Yeah. Right. Oh, my oh, hey, <laughs> cancel it. You got people from all over the country down Get out of here, CTS. Man. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? So. They so, like, forget the way the CTSV is gone. When, when right I wake up, up my hey, wife hey. is at a rental, an Airbnb with all the women for the bridal thing, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm there by myself. It was supposed to be me uh, wake up, have kind of a chill morning, mm-hmm. go pick up a cake, couple little things, be at the church at three. I wake up to this at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, and bro, you want to talk about a moment to where you really- And you did probably didn't know. even know how to even tell them that it happened. Bro, how, yeah, how you make that call? Hey, uh, make, start making, we had, I think, uh, 80-some people at the wedding. I'm literally sitting there with my feet in the water, looking at everything. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's the whole shop, the I mean, the whole shop is decorated. Mm. Table. All we had to do was light candles, bro. It's it's done. Mm. Mm. Everything's mm. set up. It's all underwater. That's crazy. And I'm sitting there thinking, man, this is this is one of the worst days of my life. This is supposed to be my wedding day. So this is supposed to be a day wedding day. Day. Hey, That night it happened? The night before. I woke up in the water. <laughs> everything done. When I say the water, bro, you could ride a jet ski all the way around my house. I'm not, Damn. I cannot emphasize enough the water holy yeah so this was the water at my house the morning of my wedding that's oh yes. my god now hang on we finna see the real hey that's life life and real this is life life and all the way that's life life and bro that's no cap in the rap go inside. oh my god everything oh, is underwater you not to mention Everything that's in my shop, my gun safe, my guns, family photographs, because you know, you got stuff sitting on the ground. You ain't thinking about the, the, the flood waters coming, right? So it wipes off my whole thing. I'm sitting there, I don't know what to do. I got one neighbor down the road that's related to some people I know. I don't even know the guy that well. Who's them? Some the dirt bikes. Got- Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I raced for Can-Am for a long time, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm in that life. I know all about that. <laughs> you in that life, man. I had a banshee before anybody knew what a banshee was. Oh, yeah? I used to do all that. Anyway, so hey. I'm sitting on my front porch. I got my feet in the water like I'm at the at the ocean. Mm-hmm. And a truck pulls in my driveway. And it's the guy from down the street. And he hollers at me. He says, man, you okay? I said, yeah, man, I'm all right, man. He's like... Look okay? He said, man, uh... I can't believe this is crazy. You see the wa- the roads washed out down here. The roads washed out. I said, man, I know. You ain't no getting out, man. Yeah. We stuck here. He's like, man, uh, aren't you getting married today? I was like, yeah, I'm getting married today. He's like, man, what you going to do? I said, man, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know. He said, well, hey, man. He said, I don't know if this would help you or not. He said, but me and my wife, we're building a wedding venue at my house down the road. He said, I ain't really like 100% done, but the building and everything is up. We've had a couple little small mm-hmm. quinceañeras and stuff. If we could help you, man, I don't know if this would be something you would want to entertain, but come to our place. Mm-hmm. Now, I've known this man five minutes, bro. Five minutes I've known this guy. I knew who he was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we ain't close. Just we, talk then. we never kicked it. Yeah. We never had more than a five-minute conversation. Uh-huh. I said, man, are you for real? I said, your place didn't flood? He said, a little bit. The, the driveway is real muddy, but the slab is not it's still, water. Yeah. He said, come down here and check it out. I get in the truck. We drive down the street to his house and pull in. he got a nice big building. He's mm-hmm. got a little twinkle light. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's already getting it together. Yeah. And he's like, man, if you can figure out a way, bro, please, you know, let us help you. I'm like, man, I don't even know how to move a whole wedding, right? Yeah. And 12 inches of water. <laughs> you can't even get in the county road to get to my house. Hmm. Yeah. I call a friend of mine. Good guy, moving company. Got mm-hmm. the 442, Junior. The black. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's got a moving company. 7.30 in the morning, I called Junior. Hey, bro, hate to bother you, but I need your help. Mm-hmm. Said, What's up, man? I got you. Whatever, whatever you need. I said, man, you think you could get some guys and you know, get a truck and maybe come out here and you're going to have to direct you to go all the way through. And yeah. it's like, you know, you can't just Yeah, you can't just come through. Yeah. Man, on the dime, bro. One phone call, Came one through. conversation, he grabbed a guy, they 
thought the waters got in there. The muffler and the exhaust pipe of the moving truck was underwater as we're loading it. Couldn't shut the truck Yeah, off. yeah, I was gonna say, as long as it ain't, boop, ain't boop, shut boop, off. Boop, 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 boop. Yep. Backed up to my building. We, we went and got some totes. We breaking stuff down. We moved that whole wedding venue, set it back up in three hours. And at the end of the day, had a perfect wedding, had a perfect fucking party. Damn. So if you tell me that there ain't other powers yeah. that will help you if you don't give up the fight, mm. yep. you can't convince me. Today. Come on, man. Since I come to 28. Last year, I was having last year. Yeah. Oh, but that's the day y'all will never forget. Man. Crazy, bro. And the wild thing was, people that have flew in, <laughs> that video would have they flying. didn't they didn't really know. We could have vlogged that. They yeah. didn't really know that it even happened. They were like, million million your house million. Got million views. Everybody been so down about that situation. What's that? Million no, million. he was talking about if that was like a YouTube video of you documented all that. Video. You, 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 you couldn't script nothing like this. Yeah. You couldn't have the forethought to even think of this story. Yeah. You know, and I mean, and you, could have been a million years. Years. So, so what's so crazy, you know, on my video. You can put that together, on, on, on my video, bro. A lot of people didn't know this. You know what I'm saying? When Maybe. I, when I, no, you remember the, remember on my channel, my, my car blew up mm -hmm. with the Challenger. All this and people didn't know why I was actually in tears. They didn't know all the stuff that I was going through at Not that the, time. That's the only ride you can Exactly. Okay. So when I picked up my camera, that was I felt like that was my only way out. It came with me. I felt like that was a sign. You know what I'm saying? And that what blew up my channel. And that what got me my first big check from YouTube. To add mm. insult Real to injury, after the wedding, right? After the flood waters receded, you know, I, now I can deal with the car situation. Because at, mm. at the time, I'm like, I don't, I, 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 I can't worry about that car. I got full coverage insurance on every car I own. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That shit's on auto draft. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't worry about calling nobody. You know, it just mm -hmm. automatically happens. Same insurance company, 15, 16 years. Mm -hmm. Call my agent up. Hey man, <laughs> flood our property. All the other cars are good, but the Cadillac is hit lower. It went under, you know, do a claim, no problem. 30 minutes later, he calls him back. He said, Mr. Cantrell, you don't have comprehensive coverage on that car. What no. Huh? He's like, well, you've only got liability on that car. Never. I said, I don't have liability, liability. on any car. Yeah. So, <laughs> years ago, when I built the car and put it on the road, and call the insurance company and oh, my you put insurance. It liability. The girl typed it in wrong. Wow. I got so many cars on my insurance, I pay so You didn't much pay insurance. no attention. I never paid no attention, right? Because I buy, sell cars, uh -huh. swap out the insurance, my, my amount always change. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I ain't tripping. I ain't never looked at the paperwork to see what coverage on every single vehicle. To make a long story short, I lost the damages on the car. Now, I've gotten the car running, but it shorted out the electronic rack and pinion. It shorted That's out the, the one computer. you were telling me yeah. about. So, it's going to cost me probably three to $6,000 of parts plus my time to fix the car. And that's the L. Mm. But you know what? Life get the life in. Life get the life in. Because, guess what? That shit is trivial. Uh -huh. Freedom, mm -hmm. health, mm -hmm. family the future of prosperity, like that's the shit that matters. Yeah. A truck, a dually truck, a fucking dirt bike, like in the big scheme of things, that perspective a week or two week or three week or two years later, that shit don't matter. Yeah. Just keep on marching, make it up. Whatever yeah. happens, whatever expense, whatever problem, just make it just up. Just gotta figure it out and solve it. It's like if you're a professional runner, you'll never know how far you can run as long as you don't stop running. Yeah. Keep going. As <laughs> long as it ain't no end to it. If it ain't no finish stop. line, you got to keep going, regardless. I have plenty of losses in my life. You know, burglaries, friends, yeah. you know, like, you know, everybody's got losses and, and, and things and stresses, man. But at the end of the day, really what makes the difference is how you approach life when it, I guess, I guess yeah. it's the life, right? Like, are yeah. you going to you gonna stand gonna there? You going to take a deep breath? Yeah. Or are you going to sit there and just freak out and make it right. worse? Mm -hmm. or, or not get out of your own head. I mean, like, people should have people all the time. You know, hey, I would put that YouTube too. video together. I would think that's a man's YouTube video. Uh, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, and, like, and, you know, and, and like, I would tell the man, <laughs> weddings flood before the day of, but still made it happen. Floods 12 inches or how many ever feet the day before, and then still made it happen. That's what, that would be a million view video, bro. 
But that's, if it was just but, all documented. He got though. it. He got the footage. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I know that, but I'm saying with the guy the coming up and the guy letting oh, him use yeah, the yeah. building. Yeah, 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 he definitely can, can use it because yeah. everybody record they, they weddings anyway, so everybody got yeah, video that, footage. That's what the crazy thing is. Like, man, you know, every bad thing that ever happened, whether I seen it coming or not, mm -hmm. they ain't the worst shit that's ever happened. And yeah. there's always a potential for worship to happen. Yeah, go back to what I was saying when life was from the left and right. Left meaning that you could have, you, you, it was your fault, and right meaning that you had no control. No control. Over happening to you. No matter how you fall in the spectrum, bro. Mm -hmm. It's just a situation. Mm -hmm. No matter you caused it, you walked in on it, it got thrown in your lap, you created it. No, no, none of that matters. Mm -hmm. It's just how you move forward, move past it. You know? yeah, exactly. Successful exactly. people in this world are not necessarily smarter than the average than the other guy or the other woman. They People. just dealt with it better. Yeah. They just not let it like consume. Like how many times have you know a guy in your life that lost his whole everything behind a female? Or a woman, a good woman, mm -hmm. that lost everything behind an effed up guy, you know? There are plenty of times along that road before you went off the cliff mm -hmm. that you could took a different path. You knew. It wasn't going to change. You knew they weren't ever going to be no different. You knew that situation was always going to uh -huh. be a situation, but you chose not to make the hard choice. Yeah. You know, I was married for 21 years. And we were just talking about that, you know what I'm saying, taking accountability for certain shit. Yeah, you you know? Gotta, you know, we I'm, just was talking about that, too. You know, right. I was married for 21 years to a really good woman, and we had a really good marriage for most of it, and towards the end, we became different people. And we both probably suffered for five years before the one of us had the the courage to just say, to just say let's Man, just I end just it. Can't do it no more. Yeah. Like I don't care what it costs. I don't care what I lose. I just want to be happy. Yeah. You know, but most people can't take the L. Yeah. So they keep on beating their head against the wall. You know, or they're scared. Like I, I can't even quit this job because I don't know where I'm gonna get another one. Exactly. Well, you always find another job. You have to always. Always. You know, might take a little bit longer, but no you will eventually. If you try. Yeah. You know. Yep. Life. But y'all see it right here, man. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna uh, tell y'all uh, my memory card up because uh, it do get long conversations. When you talk to my guy Matt, man, he definitely be putting us on some stuff, man. Thank you. Yeah, definitely be think thinking. Life and life for all of us. For real. So that's why I tell people, bro, you never know what the next man going through. So. Shit, yours, yours probably ain't no worse than what somebody else, so why complain about it? Man, when I kept scratching the wheels, I just started laughing. I said, ha, the devil, yeah, your ass working, bro. You ain't finna get me this time. I, I knew what you was trying to do, but you ain't get me. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, last month, bro, after all the stuff I done told you I just went through, you got to think about it, bro. I got overlaps on paying for two houses. Like, all this, and then some stuff happened to cars where I had to get stuff done. It was like, I was like, damn, it just ain't going to stop. Like, yeah, what? Then, bam, my mom called me. She having some problems. So I got to square that situation up. And it's like. Hey, but look at it this way. For all the stuff that happened, right? It was within your means to deal with it. Yeah, I dealt with There's it. people out there that have problems that they have no means to deal with. Yeah. That's the that's the real trap. Yeah, that's the real bad side of it. But no matter how bad it is or how you can or can't deal with it, as long as you can keep your head and mm -hmm. faith that it can be better, you know, yeah. add a little grace, you know, then it'll all work itself out. Exactly. You know, ain't nobody never had an easy ride. No. Some do. No. Some do. Some do. They have they have few though. They, yeah. They, they, but it don't come easy to the one that put out so much hard work. You know what I'm saying? So I think, to be honest with you, man, I think the harder people work to try to accomplish something, uh -huh. the more problems that you're going to have because yeah. that's the journey of trying to do something, right? Like you can't, mm -hmm. you can't skip no steps. No, ain't no steps. And if you if you think <laughs> you skip the steps, you, you can't get you ahead. Life will have a way to exactly. show you that no, exactly. no, you need to slow your ass yeah. down. Yeah. A little too rich for your riches. Yeah. <laughs> you live your life. Hey, your life hey, he ain't life. lying. Yeah. Hey, he ain't lying. That's why I be telling people, like, some days I have days, like, I just want to lay here. I just want to sit here. You know, it just let my videos do what my videos going to do. But, bro, I get up every day, and I'm like, bro, I got to get to it. Just, I was just talking to him about that. I was like, bro, yeah, I can go over here or go over there. Bro, I need to get my 
my work done. You know what I'm saying? This year, I'm focused on straight my work. I'm traveling, trying to get work done, and I'm moving in within the city, trying to get work done. I ain't got time to play this year. I don't want to see myself back in this position that I'm in right now. You know what I'm saying? Five days a week, almost, you know, with the exception of one week a year, mm -hmm. I get up every morning, I come to this location, mm -hmm. and this is what I do. Whether I feel like it, I don't feel mm -hmm. like it, whether I'm excited or I'm unhappy, it's what you do because that's the sacrifice. Yeah. Right? Like, Nothing, nobody's going to hand you nothing. Nothing comes for free, and ain't nothing easy. Exactly. So the quicker you figure that out and start having some adaptability to where you can pivot mm -hmm. and, and roll with the punches, your life will be easier. Exactly. You know, I can remember a time in my life. I'll be telling you real, and I'm hosting, bro, like hosting. You don't see me out. That's the but, thing. But, it's just but, if if it's something big and major going on, I that's the only the time. Big and major stuff. Yeah, but I be right here, so it's like yeah. if I was out of time, I'd be like, yeah, oh, I'm cool. I'm out. Of, I ain't coming in. I'm saying for me though, I be missing that because I'm like I'm so locked in and grounded, bro. It's going back to like what he just said, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta know you gotta, your limit. Yeah, you gotta know your limit and pick and choose. I mean, that's why I just told you that's what I just tell you about life. today. Life get the life. What I just tell life. you about today. Yeah, hey, man, I'm on my business, man. I gotta get my stuff done. You know, all this extra money going to other stuff that ain't got nothing containing to my right. my work. Right. I, I don't, I ain't involved in it this year. It, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm on, bro. If I can come over here, that money I blow trying to shop or do something like that, and I come blow it with you, and I can get some content behind it, something that somebody going to actually see, and I can make money off of it to keep my business going, that's what I got to do. To be, to, to be, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying that, you know, any kind of legal trouble is, is wanted, mm -hmm. but it also probably makes people kind of understand that no matter what level you're on or mm -hmm. what successes that you have, that shit can all be gone in a minute. Yeah. And nothing is nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. And don't take anything for granted, man. There's been a lot of times in my life where I really thought I had a really good handle on mm -hmm. what was going on in the situation. Yeah. And you, you find out real quick, you know, you, yeah. you ain't quite where you thought you were. You're not as safe as, safe you, as you thought you were. You know. Whatever. And it ain't stay there forever. But go handle your business. But yeah, y'all, that was just a little talk with us, with the fellas, man. I'm going to catch you guys, man, in a little while, man. Peace. All right, y'all, man. We up here. We trying to get this situation fixed with this damn cap. I don't know how the hell they right there. I guess they, they pulled it off twice, so. And I got to figure out what the hell I need to do. I gotta see what the hell I'm gonna do about this damn scratch, man. I gotta get that joint on uh, done and dealt with ASAP. Sugar man in here got the big boy, you know what I'm saying? 28s. Got them big boys. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna sew it will either. Y'all gonna have to see on his show, huh? Hey, I like it. I like your sweater, brother. it. Trust no one. You see the back of it? I, I see it. <laughs> We're going to zoom in on you. Huh? We're going to zoom in on you. Yeah. I like your sweater, brother. <laughs> trust no one. <laughs> when I say no one, trust no motherfucker. He said no one. Cigars. Yeah, like a boss should, huh? <laughs> you know, that's them boss cigars, man. Let Only bosses smoke them. them just, I don't think I'm a boss yet because they hurt my chest. No I ain't no boss yet. I get there. <laughs> I got no boss too, uh, okay. So you still working like a worker? I, I, hey, you don't believe me, Cardo? Do I work? I, I, I started <laughs> He still work, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know I'm going to get it out of somebody. Yeah, but work up, it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sugar man, let's let... My boy got the box out here. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Big boy box. Big T-Rex out here. You know what I'm saying? I don't never get tired of filming this joint. I ain't going to count to you. You know what I'm saying? And I always told him from the, since the beginning, he the only reason I started liking Tuto box Chevys. No cap. There's no sugar coating it. There's no, you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, ain't, ain't nobody motivated me on a two door box every other than Sugar Man. Hands down. I can't cap. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no cap in my rap. I stand behind that. He motivated me on the two door box every. You know what I'm saying? Land down. Because um, at first, I can't stand them. I thought they was the ugliest cars ever built. I ain't going to cap to you. I only started liking them just two years ago. That's it. That's it. Said and done. Two years ago when I started liking the Tudor box ship. <laughs> but I still will take a photo over a Tudor any day. What's up, bro? I definitely take it over. What's going on with you? Y'all see what's going on. Let me open that thing up, man. So y'all this thing. That nigga been cutting up. He been cutting up. Come on, man. Yeah, Sersky. And don't play with him. Got all these damn tiles in here. Close that door right, man. Got yourself looking over here bogus. Yeah, but y'all see it, big T-Rex in the thing. Man, now I gotta get some wheel for my damn don't. You know I bought a don't, a 75. Yeah, nasty, nasty. Can't wait till that thing make it. But I gotta order some wheels. I can't get nothing that's in stock though. I, yeah, I gotta custom build them. I got to. Now I gotta see if I want big cap or not, cause I don't think I want no big cap. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to goddamn me. Tighten up my damn plan. Where the hell Sugar Man at? Where the heck Sugar Man go? What's up, man? What's up, man? Man, chillin', chillin'. You too, brother? Man, chillin'. Up here with Sugar Man on that, cause I know he on that. But I gotta probably order me some wheels for this donk or donk. Huh? I don't know. Yeah, I, shit, I sent that to Cito some days ago. Yeah. Cause he said he was out with COVID or something. Yeah. Cito. That's Cito. The man they get. Nah, I know. That's Cito. He really do. He really did back then, too. The man that gets COVID uh, probably eight times out of goddamn two months. You know what I'm saying? Two month period. You know? I ain't never seen a person get sick with COVID that much and ain't passed yet. God dang. God on his side, my boy. God on his side, my boy. Man, golly. That boy, goddamn, he cat he got more lives than the cat, boy. See. See it. Nine lives. That boy got 50 lives. Let me let me use your ears, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Pick your brain a little bit. Oh, let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out, man. Right, let me, right. Hey, let me let me find out y'all in here selling these other wheels right here. Oh, let me find out. They got real cheese now? Let me find out. I see a book over here. Yeah, I knew y'all. Y'all thought y'all was slick. Uh-huh. Them? Yeah, I see y'all. I see y'all. Let me find out. Uh, okay, okay. It, it, it's a souvenir. Oh, uh, okay. Is that like a napkin on the table or something? You just grab one? <laughs> hey, now nah, I want to pick your brain. So, little concept I'm going with. You know what I'm saying? No, they ain't got dating on them. <laughs> you can answer that question. They got to have dating on the cap. I like them. That real dating boy gonna cost you about 20, 30 bands. I like them. I like them. I like them. You like them I right like there. Them. Yeah, stay in your own way. Yeah, right. You feel me? Crazy. See it. So, so you know, you know, I'm going with the rose gold joints. Um, the joints over, over here. So, so come through. Hear me out. Feel me out. You know what I'm saying? Pick your brain. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm ordering these, but not this design though. Right. What's them gems going on? The don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm doing this little thing, right. the, the silver and rose gold thing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's, so that's why I told you. 
You see how a little lighter it is? Yeah. Because it's over there, chrome. That's what I just got. No, yours. I want to just put it on there because I your your video comes out late. Right. So yours is over polished. So I told you it's a different. Over the so chrome. Mine, what you trying to say? Mine darker? No. Yeah, they're they're darker than this. This is over chrome. It's lighter. Oh, you want this one? Yeah. This so I'm going out. No. Yours over polished. This is over. I don't like chrome. that. I don't like that. I like that. I don't like that. So me, I don't like this neither though, gang. That's the pissy look. That's got, what I was I telling you. Yeah, I don't got that. That's the pissy look. So I got over. <clears throat> no, yours just a different um color gold. It's three different color golds from Forgiata. You wanted the exact gold that matched your gold that was on your right, car was already. On my car, right? exactly. Right. So the gold I had on my car, the on on in the twisted on the white one was this. Know what I'm saying? But you couldn't really tell, but it was that. Oh, that's, that's why. I, that's why you kept saying I ain't want the one that Rail had. That's what. That's over chrome. That's, over that's chrome. plated. Twenty four karat plated over no, chrome. I got twenty four karat over polished. Yeah, I like that. I like this gold right here. This the gold that I got. So that's yeah, that's 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 over polished. It's just twenty four karat. That's what I like. Over. I yeah. like that. That's me. And that's just a different. Type gold right there. That's, it's that's different cheese. color. That's yeah, so it's different color. Now, Nobody. Now, now listen. Now, listen. So, listen. so listen. both of these wheels. Listen. Look at both of them. That that's, the that's the cheesy. That's cheesy. That's the what you call. And this. Now the, look at this one up there, real. Look at that one at the top. Look at that one. Yeah. That's a nice one. It's, it's darker than the one I got, but it's still nice. No, nah, that's just because of the light. That's the same one as this one. Okay. Yeah, it's just because of the light. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so mine gonna look like this, that pinkish color. Okay. Which that's the, that's why I'm going have it with silver. That's gonna be exactly. Hard. Ooh, that's gonna so be hard. I'm gonna do that, but then I'm doing. But listen, but this is nice too, though. But that's darker. That's darker than that. Than that. That's nice though. Yeah, but this I don't want it dark. Get. This is what I would get because that's over polished. Like that's I told I you, get. it's gonna give out that little darker looking look. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to do that light. That's me. That's what your oh, ring that's, look like. That's, rock. that's what your ring look like too. Uh, yeah, bussin'. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Yeah, rose gold. Right. So that wheel color, this wheel color, but and this wheel over here. Yeah, I got a new idea for my next wheel so crazy, right? So it's like, damn, I'm gonna have to go big cap because these wheels are really for big caps. So I'm going with this wheel. So that look with the chrome lip, I'm going the whole outside gonna be rose gold with the chrome lip. The whole outside, what you mean? So this inside gonna be rose gold with the chrome lip on the dome. I got you. Yeah, in the six. I got you. Yeah. Nice. And I'm gonna do the Vogue tie. Oh, you acting real freaky now. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't gonna tell them which color. But you, you, I'm going with the Vogue tie. You, you acting real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So hey, I'm exposing, nigga. I'm going dating. Knock off whatever you want to call. Yeah, it. all that. I'm letting y'all know I'm finna kill something, nigga. Straight up on the beat. On I'm the. Finna kill something. Come on, man. Hey, listen. I like this whole YouTube car build thing. Yeah. I'm starting to like this little. Hey, I'm thing. telling you, it, you, you know get the you get the man? jogger in different. You know what I'm saying? Perspective of everybody's brain and not just your own. You know, you get to Watch get a little feedback from everybody on car building. And it, it puts you in a different mind of, of what you can do without trying to go too far over and shit like that. You know what different routes to take sure. than other people, too. So, yeah. come on now. And I got my own yeah, idea. So, I got I got my next build um, under my head already. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done with a deep skill. <laughs> nah, you ain't almost done. Uh, you know, almost done. Oh, I still gotta buy that from you too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Really oh that. Yeah, y'all got you. Man, that shit been sitting there. So okay, I ain't, you know, I ain't tripping. I'm buying that. I'm buying that. But buying I gotta that. make sure I got this the pinkest looking rose gold. That's why I'm going with certain rose gold. So you going with that kind of face right there? No, nah, this brush. That's hard. I know. That's what I was gonna do at first. Game. That's hard. I know. I was gonna do that. That's but I said, no, nah, I gotta do the polish. Game. That's hard. I know it, but I can't do it now. I'm going with the polish. 
I gotta take a picture of this game. This I stupid, gotta go with the man. polish, my boy. So what's this a polished rose gold? Yeah, no, nah, that's that's right. brush rose gold. That's different, bro. That's hard. So me, I gotta go with the polish though. I'm going with that look, but on this wheel. Right. You look that John Webby had in that movie. You feel me? So, uh, cause that make me, cause if I get these in stock, I gotta go with a four inch lip. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You going bigger. I'm going with a bigger, bigger lip. So Omar, boy, Omar, how you gonna spend your money, Jack? I'm telling you. Tell you right now, I'm ready to get my. But money. then I gotta figure out if I want that wheel in a in a small cap, cause I really, a lot of people like that wheel because of the big cap look, but I don't think I want that 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 wheel in a big cap. I just, I'm trying to see if I see one that's a small cap for that one. Black, white, or. Had it on that. Oh, damn. Supercharged truck you got. Smacking down on What? It. This Oreo wheel. It's nasty. It's over nasty. Damn, I think one of them wheels is that wheel. It's over nasty, bro. With the small cap. Damn, should I go with the small cap or the big cap? I don't want to have them problems, bro, with them big caps, man. Golly, yeah, they make you them look big. I've been telling everybody about big caps ever since I just, me, I just bro. don't like them. I'm straight on the big cat. Yeah, I'm straight. I told him, give me the little silver one to spin. I'm cool. I'm going to have a lot of horsepower. So yeah, I ain't. Big caps ain't good you can't, for horsepower. No, nah, because you can't stick that what you call through it. The, uh, the studs. Stud. Yup, yup. So, you know me. I got to go with the small caps. I, I still get that look. It is what it is. All right, y'all, man. I had to just um, properly end the video. I want to say, man, I appreciate y'all, man. A little support y'all always show. And um, make sure you guys get y'all tickets right now. You know what I'm saying? For the colors. You know what I'm saying? Salon. And uh, y'all already know, man. Take advantage of them deals, man. $50 get you 1,000 tickets. You know what I'm saying? For a limited time only. This is not going to last that long. So only a few days and then that's it. You know what I'm saying? So um, make sure you guys get y'all tickets. And yeah, man. Uh, let's keep going up, man. Got a lot of good stuff going on on the channel. Got a lot of good bills going on this year. And uh, I just hope y'all like how the wheels uh, come out because it's going to take a little minute to make them. So um, we definitely get, get them joints ordered. And uh, yeah, man, we're just going to keep moving up, man. Moving up, taking a step up the ladder, man. So I uh, appreciate y'all. No matter how bad life is life, we just got to get through it together. And uh, we got each other, man. We got each other back. So. I catch you guys in the next video. Y'all already know what time it is. Your boy Real to Real. Hey man, say man. Hey man, it's your boy man. Real to Real man. Hit the like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Go ahead, and bust it down. I'm out here like last year. Peace. Ah. She popped the sand. The bitch is sleepy.